guys, this is a video on how to bail out of a squat. So the purpose of this skill is first of all safety. Uh, you want to be able to always uh, get that bar off from your back in the safest way possible. Uh, and the second purpose of it is to build confidence, right? So as you get more proficient in squatting, you're gonna be able to squat heavier and heavier loads. Not only that, you're gonna be want to squat heavier and heavier loads. Uh, and once the, the bar gets heavy enough, if you don't have the confidence that you will actually survive the lift, uh, you're not gonna go for that lift, right? Like you're not, you're not gonna, you're not gonna squat. Like you're gonna stop at the beginning. You're like, this is too heavy. I don't know if I can come out. Uh, but if you have, if you know how to bail, then in your brain you feel very safe because what well, the worst thing that happens is that you get stuck at the bottom, but you know how to deal with that situation. You just drop the bar, move away from it, so there's nothing to lose, right? And so uh, the first purpose is safety, but that second purpose that we were talking about is actually uh, confidence, right? And it's very important. Good, so let me tell you how to bail. So what you see here is the, the most common context in, 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 in for squatting. Uh, you have a rack that has no spotters. Uh, if you don't know what's a, a spotter, then you don't have them, so don't worry about it. You have a bar uh, with bumper plates, that is very important. Use bumper plates uh, if you can, it's, it's, it's important. And then, uh, and then you have a space of this kind. So the first thing that you're gonna look when, when, when learning how to bail is that the space is clean. You don't need a lot of space, it's way more space than I need. Uh, you only need like, you know, five feet. Uh, but for sure, uh, what I want is the space to be clean so that when the, I drop the bar, um, it doesn't bounce back to, to me, right? So, especially I don't want to see one per plate here, but I don't want to see anything. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to clean the space. Make sure there's nothing there. And the second thing is just look at, just think about the, the skill for a second. So you're gonna come up, come to to squat, you get stuck, you come back to the bottom, and what you're going to do is you're gonna drop that bar backwards and jump forward. That's it. You don't need to jump, you can even kneel down, you can drop it and kneel down if you want. Either is fine, play with both. Uh, and let's do it now with the bar to see how it looks. So you're gonna come here, go into your squat. Bar, bar, nice back tight. And I get stuck. I bail out of it. Good. That is it. It's not a complicated skill. So how you put it together? How you practice it? Start in a next day that you're squatting. Commit to to practice this skill all the way to your heavier. Uh, weights and what you're going to do is start with very light weights and, and bail out of them at different heights even so I bail just at the bottom but bail at different heights even at the top right start with very light weights feel very comfortable there and build up to it you'll find that not even at your max weight but like at your heavier like maybe 80% or something like that you're gonna start feeling scared that is fine that is just your body telling you like Pay attention. Good. Those are the most important to uh, those those loads in which I feel scared. Those are the most important in, uh, loads to work at because you want to be very confident at the heavier weights. That's really where you need to know how to bail. So as soon as you find that situation, uh, if you free, really feel like you cannot bail out of that weight, then deload a little bit, right? Uh, and, uh, and and go back to it, right? Try this with a friend, so if you get stuck, that person can take the bat away from you. But, uh, but uh, yeah, work at different different loads and build that confidence so that when you get heavier, it's there. Um, awesome, and yeah, keep bailing out of different, different heights, not just the bottom, so you get confident at every situation. Uh, awesome, guys. Uh, I hope you uh, don't have to bail that much. But, uh, uh, but practice it because it's a super necessary skill to have.